As observed in preclinical models, the immunotherapy combination Imjudo, Imfinzi, and chemotherapy enhances the immune response. With the power of anti CTLA4 and anti PDL1, respectively, in addition to chemotherapy. Chemotherapy offers upfront tumor control by inducing tumor cell death, leading to the release of tumor neoantigens that help prime the anti tumor T cell response. Imjudo, a monoclonal antibody that blocks the activity of CTLA4, primes the immune response by increasing T cell activation and proliferation. Upon activation, T cells differentiate into memory T cells that help provide long term immunity and effector cells that take direct anti tumor action. Additionally, Imfinzi, a monoclonal antibody that binds to PDL1 and blocks its interaction with PD1, inhibits the tumor's immune suppression and enhances T cell function in the tumor's microenvironment, thus decreasing tumor size. In summary, the Imjudo, Imfinzi, and chemotherapy combination enhances T cell priming, which increases T cell activation and proliferation, and increases T cell function in the tumor microenvironment with Imfinzi. Important safety information There are no contraindications for Imfinzi, Dervalumab, or Imjudo, Tremelimumab, ACTL, severe and fatal immune mediated adverse reactions. Important immune-mediated adverse reactions listed under warnings and precautions may not include all possible severe and fatal immune-mediated reactions. Immune-mediated adverse reactions, which may be severe or fatal, can occur in any organ system or tissue. Immune-mediated adverse reactions can occur at any time after starting treatment or after discontinuation. Monitor patients closely for symptoms and signs that may be clinical manifestations of underlying immune-mediated adverse reactions. Evaluate clinical chemistries, including liver enzymes, creatinine, adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH level, and thyroid function at baseline and before each dose. In cases of suspected immune-mediated adverse reactions, Initiate appropriate workup to exclude alternative etiologies, including infection. Institute medical management promptly including specialty consultation as appropriate. Withhold or permanently discontinue Imfinzi and Imjudo, depending on severity. See USPI dosing and administration for specific details. In general, if Imfinzi and Imjudo requires interruption or discontinuation, administer systemic corticosteroid therapy, 1 mg to 2 mg per kilogram per day prednisone or equivalent until improvement to grade 1 or less. Upon improvement to grade 1 or less, initiate corticosteroid taper and continue to taper over at least one month. Consider administration of other systemic immunosuppressants in patients whose immune-mediated adverse reactions are not controlled with corticosteroid therapy. Immune-mediated pneumonitis. Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause immune-mediated pneumonitis, which may be fatal. Immune-mediated pneumonitis occurred in 3.5%, 21 of 596, of patients, including fatal, 0.5%, and grade 3, 1% adverse reactions. Immune-mediated colitis. Imfinzi with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy can cause immune-mediated colitis, which may be fatal. Immune-mediated colitis is frequently associated with diarrhea. Cytomegalovirus, CMV, infection reactivation has been reported in patients with corticosteroid refractory immune-mediated colitis. In cases of corticosteroid refractory colitis, consider repeating infectious workup to exclude alternative etiologies. Immune-mediated colitis occurred in 6.5%, 39 of 596, of patients, including fatal, 0.2%, and grade 3, 2.5%, adverse reactions. Intestinal perforation and large intestine perforation were reported in 0.1% of patients receiving Imfinzi in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy. Immune-mediated hepatitis. Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause immune-mediated hepatitis, which may be fatal. Immune-mediated hepatitis occurred in 3.9%, 23 of 596, of patients, including fatal, 0.3%, grade 4, 0.5%, and grade 3, 2% adverse reactions. Immune-mediated endocrinopathies. 
Adrenal insufficiency, Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause primary or secondary adrenal insufficiency. For grade 2 or higher adrenal insufficiency, initiate symptomatic treatment, including hormone replacement, as clinically indicated. Immune-mediated adrenal insufficiency occurred in 2.2%, 13 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.8% adverse reactions. Hypophysitis. Imfinzi in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy can cause immune-mediated hypophysitis. Hypophysitis can present with acute symptoms associated with mass effect, such as headache, photophobia, or visual field cuts. Hypophysitis can cause hypopituitarism. Initiate symptomatic treatment, including hormone replacement, as clinically indicated. Immune-mediated hypophysitis occurred in 1.3%, 8 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.5% adverse reactions. Thyroid disorders, thyroiditis, hyperthyroidism, and hypothyroidism. Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause immune-mediated thyroid disorders. Thyroiditis can present with or without endocrinopathy. Hypothyroidism can follow hyperthyroidism. Initiate hormone replacement therapy for hypothyroidism or institute medical management of hyperthyroidism as clinically indicated. Immune-mediated thyroiditis occurred in 1.2%, 7 of 596, of patients. Immune-mediated hyperthyroidism occurred in 5%, 30 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.2% adverse reactions. Immune-mediated hypothyroidism occurred in 8.6%, 51 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.5% adverse reactions. Type 1 diabetes mellitus, which can present with diabetic ketoacidosis. Monitor patients for hyperglycemia or other signs and symptoms of diabetes. Initiate treatment with insulin as clinically indicated. Immune-mediated type 1 diabetes mellitus occurred in 0.5%, 3 of 596, of patients receiving Imfinzi in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, including grade 3, 0.3% adverse reactions. Immune-mediated nephritis with renal dysfunction. Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause immune-mediated nephritis. Immune-mediated nephritis occurred in 0.7%, 4 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.2% adverse reactions. Immune-mediated dermatology reactions. Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause immune-mediated rash or dermatitis. Exfoliative dermatitis, including Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, drug rash with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, DRESS, and toxic epidermal necrolysis, 10, has occurred with PD-1-L1 and CTLA-4 blocking antibodies. Topical emollients and or topical corticosteroids may be adequate to treat mild to moderate non-exfoliative rashes. Immune-mediated rash or dermatitis occurred in 7.2%, 43 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.3% adverse reactions. Other immune-mediated adverse reactions. The following clinically significant immune-mediated adverse reactions occurred at an incidence of less than 1% each in patients who received Imfinzi in combination with Imjudo or were reported with the use of other immune checkpoint inhibitors. Cardiac vascular myocarditis, pericarditis, vasculitis, nervous system, meningitis, encephalitis, myelitis, and demyelination, myasthenic syndrome, myasthenia gravis, including exacerbation, Guillain-Barre syndrome, nerve paresis, autoimmune neuropathy, ocular, uveitis, iritis, and other ocular inflammatory toxicities can occur. Some cases can be associated with retinal detachment. Various grades of visual impairment to include blindness can occur. If uveitis occurs in combination with other immune-mediated adverse reactions, consider a voight koyanagi harada like syndrome, as this may require treatment with systemic steroids to reduce the risk of permanent vision loss. Gastrointestinal pancreatitis, including increases in serum amylase and lipase levels, gastritis, duodenitis, musculoskeletal and connective tissue disorders, myositis, polymyositis, rhabdomyolysis, and associated sequelae, including renal failure, arthritis, polymyalgia rheumatic. Other hematologic immune, hemolytic anemia, aplastic anemia, hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, Histiocytic Necrotizing Lymphadenitis, Kikuchi Lymphadenitis, Sarcoidosis, 
Immune thrombocytopenia, solid organ transplant rejection, other transplant, including corneal graft, rejection, infusion-related reactions. Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, can cause severe or life-threatening infusion-related reactions. Monitor for signs and symptoms of infusion-related reactions. Interrupt, slow the rate of, or permanently discontinue Imfinzi and Imjudo based on the severity. See USPI dosing and administration for specific details. For grade 1 or 2 infusion-related reactions, consider using pre-medications with subsequent doses. Infusion-related reactions occurred in 2.9 percent, 17 of 596, of patients, including grade 3, 0.3 percent, adverse reactions. Complications of allogeneic HSCT after Imfinzi. Fatal and other serious complications can occur in patients who receive allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT, before or after being treated with a PD-1-L1 blocking antibody. Transplant-related complications include hyperacute graft-versus-host disease, GVHD, acute GVHD, chronic GVHD, hepatic venoocclusive disease, VOD, after reduced-intensity conditioning, and steroid-requiring febrile syndrome without an identified infectious cause. These complications may occur despite intervening therapy between PD-1-L1 blockade and allogeneic HSCT. Follow patients closely for evidence of transplant-related complications and intervene promptly. Consider the benefit versus risks of treatment with a PD-1-L1 blocking antibody prior to or after an allogeneic HSCT. Embryo-fetal toxicity. Based on their mechanism of action and data from animal studies, Imfinzi and Imjudo can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman. Advise pregnant women of the potential risk to a fetus. In females of reproductive potential, verify pregnancy status prior to initiating Imfinzi and Imjudo, and advise them to use effective contraception during treatment with Imfinzi and Imjudo, and for three months after the last dose of Imfinzi and Imjudo. Lactation. There is no information regarding the presence of Imfinzi and Imjudo in human milk. However, because of the potential for serious adverse reactions in breastfed infants from Imfinzi and Imjudo, advise women not to breastfeed during treatment and for three months after the last dose. Adverse Reactions In patients with MNSCLC in the Poseidon study receiving Imfinzi in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, N equals 330, the most common adverse reactions occurring in greater than or equal to 20% of patients were nausea, 42%, fatigue, 36%, musculoskeletal pain, 29%, decreased appetite, 28%, rash, 27%, and diarrhea, 22%. In patients with MNSCLC in the Poseidon study receiving Imfinzi in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, N equals 330, permanent discontinuation of Imfinzi or Imjudo due to an adverse reaction occurred in 17% of patients. Serious adverse reactions occurred in 44% of patients, with the most frequent serious adverse reactions reported in at least 2% of patients being pneumonia, 11%, anemia, 5%, diarrhea, 2.4%, thrombocytopenia, 2.4%, pyrexia, 2.4%, and febrile neutropenia, 2.1%. Fatal adverse reactions occurred in a total of 4.2% of patients. The safety and effectiveness of Imfinzi and Imjudo have not been established in pediatric patients. Indication Imfinzi, in combination with Imjudo and platinum-based chemotherapy, is indicated for the treatment of adult patients with metastatic NSCLC with no sensitizing epidermal growth factor receptor, EGFR, mutations, or anaplastic lymphoma kinase, ALK, genomic tumor aberrations. Please see full prescribing information, including medication guide for Imfinzi and Imjudo, at imfinzihcp.com.